What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to remind you where we were last time, we were beginning our offensive against the French with the attack on their forces in Martinique. So without further ado, let us engage. Knights of St. John campaign is only 30 turns ahead of my campaign. So compare the differences in having to crank through all those early turns and where we are now. We're still struggling a lot more here. Uh, the gun positions... The terrain's not great for guns here. But let's put a fairly standard uh, position in just to see how the AI reacts. Because what we've got to bear in mind is that this is quite a low a low wealth territory. It's not worth a whole lot of money and it's got a it's got one uh, plantation on it, so it does provide us trade income, but in terms of tax and lots of other useful things, it's actually pretty pants. Yep, they're gonna march up, which is what we want. Then over right over the way back here, we've got some more. West India Company Infantry. So let's have a look at their natural army. West India Company Infantry. They'll have lots of buccaneers, I suspect. Look at there they are. Regiment of Foot Buccaneers. They may be called a regiment of foot, but by God, they are not the same <laughs> as a real regiment of foot. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't rate them that much higher than... Uh, maybe not even... Maybe they might even be worse than armed citizenry, because at least armed citizenry has a bit of... The morale isn't terrible. Yeah, they're having to... Yeah, they're pushing up into us because they, they have no artillery. So they have... Um, it, <coughs> it serves them no benefit to sit back. So even though they're out of range, my guys have just shot and they're reloading, so they will soon be in range. Well, they'll be they'll be in range when my guys have reloaded. Come on, regiments! You you just finished reloading when I looked at you. Oh, there they go. There we go. But now the line battles have the lines have been met and obviously I've not switched these guys to canister. Although they're probably not going to make it to my lines, especially when they run up to me in form square. So these guys are conscripts. Well these are colonial militia. So they will actually they will they'll they should stand up to my artillery musketry better than the militia do. So let's charge the buccaneers with my cover on the flank. They've actually made it to our lines here, but then they've immediately broken. They've got within pistol range. But they managed to kill three men with those pistols. But as we know, when it comes to fighting the pirates, what they like to do is they'll retreat. They will retreat, their morale will come back, they will retreat, their morale will come back, and so on and so on. Ooh. Big push near our guns. You gunners, get out of there. Although routing is probably a bad idea, explicitly. So you guys push up to help hold the line. Come on gunners, just get out of there. Recruiting new gunners will be difficult.
bring these guys over here rapidly because uh, they have some. This unit, the third, has got pretty swamped. You guys charge the jungle's bodyguard. You guys try charge into the block. You guys try go for. Should you go for that buccaneer unit? They go. They're trying to swarm the third, which isn't in good in a good position. So my men are opening fire on the sixth and the eighty seventh. Are okay. Hit that unit of buccaneers. You guys maybe charge on into the French. So these this unit is gonna be pretty pretty damaged. But their morale is breaking. These fellas need to move up. Charge into the rear of this armed citizenry. They're probably not gonna be too happy about that. So guard mode turned off. There we go. Our unit broke, but their entire position has broken. There we go, this is it. This is full on Patriot moment. And it's everyone just storming. My gunners are hiding in the trees. This one gun switched to round shot. They've got no one to really shoot at. Where's my horse artillery up here? Yeah, they need to run away because there's a set of there's a set of um, spikes. They will have a technical name. I just don't really know what it is, and I don't think it's that much of a, uh, a bother. Yeah, you guys go after the general's bodyguard. God, these guys are going to really get obliterated. See, the, the last ones that routed were in the centre. But there's no need to continue. We've destroyed... There we go, we lost 600 men. That's not terrible. We're not overly concerned about actually having this territory. It's more about... Pushing against the French, like we're probably going to go up and sail and hit to the Bahamas. And we are at war with the French, but they're not. We don't really have a. There's no immediate need to actually do much offensive action against them. So let's try and see. Now we've beaten them in a battle. There. Okay, we need to beat you to repair this craft workshop. That's for darn sure. So financial situation, 24 grand coming in, starting to expand our trade empire. Probably want to hit Cagliari. We will want to march on the Ottomans, although we already although we already do have a some visibility on what's going on over here. They are concerned, because they think they're at war with the Prussians. Oh no, they're friendly with them, aren't they? Yeah, they're allies. Yep. Yeah. Um, but we do need to make war on them at the earliest opportunity. Fortunately, this army cannot leave Tripoli, lest they have huge rebellion. So our best option, I think, is to continue to grow and expand in the Americas. Like we do have another force, obviously, growing here in Caracas which can help defend this territory against the new Spaniards, but I would like to push against the French in on the mainland. So I think what's going to happen is we have some periods of holding and defensive actions in Europe and instead focus on growth and expansion in the Americas, but that's obviously not good. Um, if they go after Madrid, that's fine. We've got a garrison. I would probably, I will probably recruit some more troops in Lisbon. 
to they're probably gonna die yeah there goes that yeah, um, I'll probably like to grow grow an army in Lisbon to the point where I'll have I can slowly trickle in uh, troops although to be honest I might just march out and intercept them and then rebuild the troops in Spain because I don't really want them running around raiding all my stuff Yep, so that's something like Alexandria. We've got wedge formation, but that's because you're our baby. Our baby school. Let's expand you. Okay, so yeah. It's a depleted army. We could, are we actually in range to hit it immediately? Hold on. So if you hold right click, rather than click it, if you hold it, you can get this view of if you're in range or not of things. Whoa, accidentally almost actioned it. Yeah, we're going to want to push out here. I think. I'm probably going to want to do... Something like that, just to provide a bit more oomph. And then we're probably going to want to drop a light galley into here to hold it. Um, okay, fleet destroyed. Well, a fleet is a bit grand, very grandiose term for that. Uh, the Prussians have now taken Athens, so they're going to start to have a bigger naval presence here than we would like. So you can get Admiral's flagship first rate. Why can I not build... Oh, because I don't have... Well, I'm pretty sure you're a naval hospital, aren't you? Yeah... peculiar one. It's not because I'm lacking a particular naval tech. But if I build up the naval dockyard here, can I then build sloops? Flagship, flagship, fourth rate, fifth rate. No. Do we need to upgrade? Ah, naval college. Right. That's what it'll be. Well, I think, I assume, that's what it'll be. Let's hop over to the Americas. territory or oh, rebuild the government reinforce our men can we leave immediately Avanti. not really but we don't really have the men Senorcy. our men aren't strong enough to really do that anyway so let's rebuild upgrade the plantations upgrade the roads you guys are replenishing but get back to caracas Probably going to pick up a port upgrade, I think. Probably this one down here. We do want these territories to grow. You're not being taxed yet, but you soon will be. Spain's now got a craft workshop, which we will upgrade. Because for whatever reason, they're not actually attacking us through, um, through the through um, the Pyrenees. See the med. So what's not ideal, I am going to reinforce this army with fourths. I would like bigger ships, but I cannot get them. So let's just reinforce the army with what we can recruit. Then let's go up here to Madrid. Take Carlo. Go and attack. Donatien Barrett. Let's go destroy these French invaders. Hopefully. We should push them away from the capital so they can't actually get within range. At least it's going to be on expanding in the US of A. Because as it stands, we don't. We can't really expand comfortably in Europe. We can build up our strength in Europe still to hold our own. Oh, where are my central dudes? Oh no, you're not the wrong one. You're not the right ones.
I doubt they'll let us do exactly what we want to do. What I would like to do is just to march up and then massacre them with the minimum amount of fuss. And risk, obviously. But it looks like they're content to just kind of wander around. Yeah, you guys run. Let's see if we can get our... Get some shots off on this general. For free. Sadly, did not die in the first salvo, nor the second salvo. Let's run these infantry up into position. More pot shots at the general. I mean, if they'll let us, I will push my artillery up and march my line ahead of them. There's the Rosas. See if you can... Sorry about that. You guys form square, you guys form square, run my cavalry back towards the square. You guys on limber, these guys push up. See they got some of my cavalry, it's the annoying thing, they sit there and, they'll sit there and go, ha ha, we've been set for the cavalry, and I'm sat here going, no you haven't, dummies. That's right, keep charging. Come on. There you go, my gunners are up. You guys don't worry about shooting. You guys don't worry about shooting them. New men just begin to pound their men. You guys come around the flank of the tree. You guys get out of that formation and into line and begin. Begin to engage the enemy. Unlimber the guns. Too bad they hit the marines. That's like the worst unit to charge your cavalry into. Although I say that, I still do it. They're throwing more cavalry into the mix. Just as these men here cannot get into formation and actually engage us. around the flank and then hit them when they route. Hit the 109th because they're very they're very strong so they could return from combat. The general's gonna take some losses here. 
pick new targets for the guns. Okay, they are shattered, but hit the 26th. Actually, no, you keep going after the 109th, you go after the 26th. I'll probably want the gunners to stay alive, actually, because that'll keep their army slow. You'll mean their army on the campaign map will have fewer movement points, and because I don't want them to actually get to Madrid, I want to keep these gunners alive. At least in my head, that makes kind of, some kind of sense. Whether or not it does or doesn't, I'll find out. Damn right, we're going to continue. Help the gunner's madness. There we go. And then let's just triple time, triple speed. Probably going to be a bit of friendly fire from people getting shot. Like these guys. I'm just going to halt fire with you guys. Check out my general. Which he's doing okay. Just occasionally just picking brand new targets. Just because the AI can be a bit dumb when it comes to pathfinding. Be nice to get the guards. They'd be good to kill. They're going to escape because they've successfully managed to spread out. Yeah, go after the Grande Guards. They've managed to. Most of them actually look like they've stopped. They did stop. Chase down this unit, unit of infantry. They're close to routing, but they're not actually running the right way. And the other unit. Kill. Kill the engineers. No two left. Good. Now it's all up to my cavalry and this other unit to hit the 8th. Decisive victory. Good stuff. There we go. We've managed to knock them out. Oh, that's a lot. Their army's dead. You men. You men can march back conquering heroes back to Madrid. So much so, I don't even want to recruit these men. I can still recruit these. Maybe I might add on two more line over here, and then I might actually hop over to the Americas and see what stuff we can spend our money on. Can probably. Oh no, you're all being replenished. That's fine. Uh, this guy's going to get shipped over to Barbados in the end, I think. Don't want to interfere with all those galleons down there. You guys are getting replenished. Let's get a ordnance factory. Or do I want to spend on something that makes me money? Although it looks like I can't really build any economic upgrades, not even roads. Because they're all too expensive. What about back in the homeland? Can't create this winery. It increases unhappiness, but that's not great. But, you know, we're doing pretty good. And, oh, you're getting upgraded. Algiers. I want them to get rid of that religious unrest. Because, like, I want him to move over to Tunis just to top up and get rid of this last unrest. While this fella begins to try and convert um, Tripoli as much as possible so I can march him on and start to screw around in, in Egypt. This is getting quite scary now because we've got a massive Prussian build up here. I'm hoping that something goes horribly wrong for them. Yeah, they don't like. United Provinces don't like us. Prussia. Damn. Let's hit end turn. And let's see what happens. Feels like that's going to be another army coming over to uh, raid and harass us. 
Ooh. That's pretty good. Jamaica's not worth a lot. Trade is worth a lot. 12 grand is worth 12 grand. And carcass shot is great because it gets us towards quicklime and fire in advance is a new is, is a military tech which we won't have to research. So Jamaica's not so the entire region, the, the territory is earning 2,859, so it's probably earning us like 200, 300-ish gold, plus some tax trade revenue, that's, sh that's for true. But we've got uh, other trade regions coming online, so it's not a massive thing. It's only sugar as well, it's not as if it's Cuba and it's, we're losing like tobacco and, and sugar and cotton and all that stuff. Um, yes. I think that is a good deal. 12 grand is a lot for our faction. And it means we can expand our war effort. Russia demands an alliance. They're offering it 3 grand. No, I don't want to be at war with either of those people. Don't worry, I can snap up their territory when they lose it. <laughs> at some point, they will make peace. They just will. And then, then we may be screwed. We will need to push into the Americas and expand our trade income and also expand our navy. A rake in Spain, as if we need any more of those. Just get them just to hang around in France, I suppose. Tactical retreat, yep. So they're okay with them having Jamaica. It's worth, I mean, it's worth a thousand a turn, which is a lot, but trade with the United Provinces is worth 1800 a turn. So you, man. March. Uh, let's get the water powered cloth mill. Then it also gets us on better terms with the Dutch. So we've got an ordnance factory. Or we're getting an ordnance factory. So what foreign advance provides? Plus one to training level for infantry units, which is good, because our any infantry we produce will just be better. Although we we're probably just about to get it. Probably. Actually, let's get Oxford to reorganise procurement. Ooh, increased upkeep. I'm not so sure about that. Machine tools. That's a good tech to get. Power looms only nine. Oh, machine tools, eight turns. Yeah. Seville, you need to grow. Those Portuguese rebels. Where do they come from? I didn't realise they were that unhappy with me. Uh, traits gained. Morally impaired, that's not good. Ooh, good. Plus one to repression across theatre, but increases religious unrest, which isn't great. Wealth of nations, which is excellent. Um, okay. Ministers, ministers, ministers. We've got any heads of government. Honestly, I'm looking at people that just won't wind people up so much. Plus one happiness, lower classes. Plus one nobility. Minus one lower classes, plus one nobility. Minus one lower classes. Minus one to management. Yeah, I'll just get you. To just, in general, try not to wind people up so much. He's generally just pretty good. But then again, you're pretty good as well. Well, I say pretty good. Their skills aren't necessarily fabulous, but they know there's nothing in them that particularly makes people angry. Um, mild concern. <laughs> uh, okay. Can't get you anywhere near. What sort of garrison will we get? We'll get nothing except for those three units. Hmm. Like, you can't get there even. You can't even get to a port. can march up to Madrid. Well, to be honest, you guys march, get ready to march onwards to Lisbon, um, because you will probably need to take it back. Unless, actually, yeah, I'll say that. Let's take this small London garrison. Do something like that to buff it and then take embark this line infantry onto these onto these uh, ships sell them into Porto 
disembark. These men get back to Lisbon. So they might do some raiding. They probably will do some raiding. But then we'll sally out and attack them next turn. Oh, you don't even have top tier roads. Let's make sure we get those cooking. Okay, let's get these commercial basins built because they're very good for, for building tax revenue. And then let's go to... We're still recruiting fourth rates, which is good. We need to go to the Americas because that's the... Cons not the concern, really, but it's where we need to be. You're still building or replenishing. Well, I suppose you've not got many people to replenish from. Um, then let's pick the port. Sugar warehouse. Governor's mansion. Can't build roads. I mean, you kind of have to do cadence marching. You can't do anything useful. But we do need to build a gunnery school, which means we need to do reorganised procurement. But we need money. Money, money, money. Uh, still have religious unrest here. Okay. March you up. Okay, you don't need to run back. You can go back to Madrid. Especially as these guys, they won't attack us because they're outnumbered dramatically and they're about to be bolstered by some more line infantry although if, if this is going to be if this is going to become a new garrison i might actually just build some houses like that and then i've got 2600 which means i can probably build something yes more ports something closer to the town which means we won't lose it as easily i mean we are going to still need to have a garrison here no matter what to fight those guys off a wood like an ordnance factory, or at least a um, whichever particular building it is that allows uh, the construction of howitzers. Although I should do more raiding of the Channel Coast than what I'm doing, because I'm currently doing none of it. Aha, the Ottomans are coming. Aha, deposit your army, sir. Actually, you know, wait a minute, I remember you. I was going to sail you off and do something interesting. I think I'm not going to do that anymore. Yeah, see, they're going to do some raiding, and that's cool. I remember I was gathering my forces to attack the Ottomans. Plus 300 men attacking there. But what's really going to happen, I think, is we're going to sail them. Well, not not in a straight, not in a single shot. Get this fourth rate out of here. Embark you. The light galley can't get there in one shot, so you're going to sail to Oran. You guys are going to go sail over to probably has to be over here doesn't it the local fishery just build another galley i mean i could build lots of admiral's flagship first rates but i don't really want to build that but god damn you can churn out lots of uh, fourth rates in one turn for a naval hospital ah you need a you need a garrison we're going to be a ways away from getting steam engine. So let's get a naval hospital. Do the French have any advanced universities over here? Classical. Oh no, we need to capture someone's capital to take that, to do that, don't we? So we don't have access to top tier tech, but we can, if we capture a someone's home region, like Paris, we do, we can capture a modern university. Martinique has better roads. Like I said you are actually you're pretty much replenished. Spend actually no, hold on. Okay, I don't quite know what the best way to 
do this is probably to recruit something from Curacao. It's expensive for shipping men across. But let's sell these men on to hit Nassau. Again, there's another stack of native troops. Actually, you could sell back and sell back to Barbados. Cancel the recruitment. It's probably smart to put a dry dock over here. You've got good roads. You're exporting all your goods. There is another level to expand to. Okay. Okay. Because it's trying to pick a point, a good point to attack the French. And I'm tempted to sail up and hit Quebec, because that gives us a solid base to push south. It means we then, we've got a narrow, a limited number of approaches to hit our territory. We've gained a good city that's Catholic, and it means we can then hit Montreal, hit Falmouth, and we can attack quite well into North America, rather than attacking Savannah, Try and push up to Charleston, but then potentially being raided from the their interior over here in the Cherokee Territories. I think that's probably the way to do it. Okay, let's get the... Actually, we can get both. We can get a gold mine and we can get the new governor's building. Sweet. But before we do too much, we need to go over to here. Let's set Evora to be replenishing anyway. And let's take these guys over and let's fight the actual portuguese rebels less to evade our justice and cause us grief which we really don't want let's do the carcass shot very simple formation here We do want to chase them down, so the general is going to become part of the pursuing mix. So what we want is to advance up our line. Push up our cavalry on the flanks. Darker shots come in, we've killed four gunners. We will want to chase them down, especially the grenadiers. actually pick some of their real units that we're not worried about but you know, here comes their carcass shot wrong time to change formation Burn. kill eight cavalrymen how dare you well, let's get the general up here as well I don't mind if this becomes a bayonet slugfest. The victory for us is based on the death of the rebels. So they might get the first volley off, singular, but then our 7th foot guards, our line infantry guards will get into position. They will hammer the militia. Well, they can't get a complete ball so well. You guys hit the guerrilla mercenaries because we've managed to find them by accident. There go the grenadiers. There go the guerrillas. There go the militia. Just mow them down. You can beat Lancer Guards. I mean, I know they're Guard Cavalry, which means they're all fancy. Look, there goes my, one of my alarms. We 
whenever they attack, we can withstand. Actually, to be honest, just charge him. Just charge him. Help the artillery fire. There we go. They never actually got their charge off, so we will lose some men. Um, because they're not going to be terrible in combat. But we are, uh... Going to speed up time now. Because their general is dead. Cavalry is dead. We are going to continue. Because these are rebels. And you do need to kill them. Kill as many of them as you can, at the very least. So I'm not worried about the cavalry. These guys have separated, so they're going to be more effective at escaping than you would like. Decisive victory. Damn right. They've lost almost all their men, and we are going to pursue them. And knock them out. And then you guys can march back to Lisbon. Pick up some replenishments. Can't fix the farm yet, but I should. I don't quite know why you guys were unhappy. I mean, you're emigrating, which means you can't be that happy. Um, but we're still making a lot of cash. You're making Well, 1,900 out of... Well, this is it. Lisbon's making 1,900. London's making 5,500. So at some point we do... I don't know. Don't worry. I thought the seminary was the Catholic... Was the Protestant version, but thankfully not couple more turns though till we get some new ports growing which will increase growth dramatically how's our research going Vora can't research classical economics because it's been destroyed or been raided but we will we're fixing that you go back to madrid spend whatever money you can on your last bit of replenishment but there is not enough money left the navy can't get out to sea so let's hit and turn I would like to take uh, Morocco out of the equation but to be honest I'm happy to just leave them and let them be No. What I would like to see is a war between, ideally, Prussia and Sweden. That's who I'd like to see go to war. Uh, war. New Spaniards are gonna send an army somewhere. Really, we can't afford to leave them unopposed. Like as much as we have these guys here, we do need to push them out and start taking the offensive to New Spain. Especially as the armies aren't actually very good. They're numerous, but they're not very good. So start to build the bones of a new army. Lots of new buildings being built, new ports, which in turn will provide more wealth. Let's put Nassau under siege. We do not want to demand surrender because we don't want their army to escape. Now this little, this little light galley, you can get over to America with your army. Let's fix the craft workshop first, then let's fix the great estates. You guys can do a little bit more replenishing. Get the water power cloth mill. Let's get the classical university. Let's get the wine states. Get the drill school. Actually, the great arsenal. Yeah, that's how you. Okay, great arsenal to build howitzers. Let's build a drill school, though, as the priority to get our infantry recruitment up. 
to be honest, it's probably worth trying to infiltrate Paris. So we get as much visibility across the territory as we can. Successful mission, good. You guys, you stay up here for now. So they do have some armies wandering around that could cause some grief. Public servant dies, which one? I can't tell. Probably our navy minister, but this guy. Harsh reputation, but damn, he's... Okay, so he's minus one happiness, lower classes is cancelled out by Bon Vivant. And Jughead. Plus one, so he's plus one justice. Okay, I think I might get this guy in as my head of government. Navy, eh, I think I'll spot this guy over here. Get this guy over here. There you go. Plus two per turn to town wealth due to his presence. Yeah, so we've started to recruit a bit more, a few more bones of a new garrison there. The Mughal Empire owns Chakask. Hopefully that brings them all into war. Come on, Denmark. Chill out. Let's trade. Okay, what I think we're going to do is we're going to attack Nassau to further cripple the French. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one of my armies, uh, lay siege at Quebec. Then I might land... So I want to build a, a garrison in New Andalusia, and I'm going to want to send two armies down to attack the new Spaniards and push my way up. Maybe even launching an attack, a raid onto uh, Mexico. Let's put our artillery up on this hill. Let's do all of it. Let's create a great artillery park. So one line infantry unit is going to sit here. Well, not sit here. It's going to be placed there, and the others is going to be provide a pushing element on the right, on the left flank. Cavalry is going to help guard the right with the general. So let's keep these as two separate units. That was the intention. Who's over there? Crossier. Crossier. Probably going to get engaged by our artillery. Or not. Very well. I will target you then. Go hit the enemy infantry in the centre of the town. So who are these guys? 3rd Regiment, clean your line. Royal Escossais. That's the first artillery lands in. We are going to push with these guys. They're going to swing in uh, from the north and sweep down through the town. These guys have been pushed back from sporadic rifle fire. Clean your dragoons, horse guards. These guys can't ever really push their charge home because they've only got 54 men. I mean, I know that's, they're still good. They're good heavy cavalry. But backed up with our cavalry, even though it's only light cavalry, it's not necessarily good cavalry. They can't really. Um, they come in, deploy. Because you're going to just catch the corner of their formation. There they go. They were after our our cavalry. So mice, they'll do damage to squares, but they, it is a marine square they have been sucked into, so they're not going to do a huge amount of damage. You guys run. You're going to get a hop on these guys. Whoa, okay. Run, 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 run. See if you can draw all these guys into the square as well. Yes, come on, get sucked in. And they managed to uh, deal with it, but when the first horse guard route 
So my light cavalry is there to just fix the cuirassier. They won't win. They'll never win on a one in a one-on-one -on -one fight. As so our musketry gets involved on the left, this is the place I need to watch. Kill the first horse guards. The general's been killed. Native bowman auxiliary. Okay, you guys get out of square. Charge the cuirassier. Everyone else is going to open up. Let's get some of these guys that are currently are out on the flank, not able to do anything, into position. Firelock on Cities Arena have had enough. Yeah. The Marines should do okay. Without their charge bonus. We should start to really pick them off. The native bows aren't going to do too much damage. Because it's only one single unit against running up into range of our battle line. Yeah, there they go. Shattered. Okay. Push you guys up. Like that. You guys don't move because you'll be in range to shoot at their general. Even your general is dead. The Marines aren't actually doing that. The Marines and my cavalry aren't doing that great against the Curassiers. They will win. But it won't be through superior skills or strategy. It will be because of... Well, we can throw more men into the battle than they can... Uh, we can afford to lose more men than them, pretty much. I don't know why we're getting these frame rate problems. Keep pushing up. We've got a unit of Colonial Dragoons that may want to just get involved in a musket battle. There we go, we're finally going to wear the second horse guards down enough that they will be killed. There we go, shattered. A regiment of horse, advance. Marines. Okay, you guys. Can you not... Ah, they fate me good. So this armed citizenry came back. Some minor prompting. Just run my cavalry straight out there. You guys need to be in square. You fail to form square. Okay, now you guys get out of square. Let's push these guys up to knock out the native auxiliary bowmen. The left flank is going to. Well, it's Grenadiers pushing up, so they might be a bit sturdier. Well, a bit sturdier. Target all our guns against them. Native musketman auxiliary. So when we knock out the bowmen, actually these guys I might march them over this way anyway. Go on, go hit the gunners. Don't stand still and be targets for the bowmen. Yeah, the Grenadiers routed under the face of concentrated artillery fire. Hit the firelock armed infantry. Sixth Regiment, uh, African Native Infantry is going to open up. Cavalry is going to charge and hit their guns that are in a really weird and dumb place. These guys are bugged. They aren't even responding now they are are they broken 
and send my cavalry just to go hit the irregulars they won't stand against an actual cavalry charge especially if we can get a few round shot blasts over in their direction then they will likely crumble them from firing at the, at the archers. Hold fire on my artillery because my cavalry is in position. They're shaken. Well they're, in, they're doing their skirmishing pretty much. That's all they're doing. And let's end the battle there. Because all we're not worried about grinding them all into the dirt yet. Okay, let's... Can't recruit anything. So let's repair the governor's building. Let's run... A cavalry over to the port to secure it. And then let's spend the money on replenishing. Because they probably don't have any roads. they got some okay roads. It's an extra, extra source of trade goods, which is what we're after. But yes, I want to build up a garrison here at Caracas just to provide a bit of support. These guys want to push towards Bogota because Bogota does produce a lot of mining income. But, well, I probably want to attack somewhere fairly close. Do I land and hit Panama and then start to engage once, once I've trapped their men? Do I start doing that? Hmm. But yeah, I definitely think in Europe we want to just... We want to just uh, not just be completely defensive, but just uh, hold, strengthen our position, strengthen our fleet, strengthen our armies with wealth gained from the Americas. I think that's probably a good way to do it. The Govor has been, been repaired to reduce upkeep across the board. Okay. Uh, yep, still got our spy in Bogota. But I don't want to march these guys out because we've seen what they've done, what they do. If I march these guys out of Caracas, they'll sail around and land the army. Um, so let's hit N10. I'm really hoping there's a big war in the centre of Europe. Because I don't think... Well, I don't want to have a front with Prussia. I really, really don't. Not yet. Not when I can't build top-tier navies, I don't. Because even though Prussia, I think... Well, as far as I can see, they can only build fourth rates, but that doesn't... You know, they've got access to all of the wealth of Central Europe, which is considerable. Huh. I'm not falling for that. Where are you going to land? Hey, you're going to go and attack the city directly. Good stuff. Sounds good to me. Agent recruited the rake in Scotland. Moving in. Getting on to Newcastle. Um, embark. Disembark him off the coast. Drop in our agent. Get back to Newcastle. And then you can start to go here. You can try and infiltrate Cologne. Good. Lots of successful missions. I mean, I know I said I'm going to do some raiding. And then what did I not do? Raid. I can raid La Havre because it's just out of range of Calais. And then safely get back to Bristol. There we go. Let's cancel that trade. Just for a second, guys, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Ironically, it was me fidgeting the camera around that caused the, uh, the uh, recording to go silly. I have an audio problem, um, but I'm back. So, first rate ship. Oh god, as soon as I say that. They're the first to launch first rate ship of the line. 
So you can build Admiral Flagship, first rate ship of the line. But I cannot build actual first rate ships of the line. Which is unfortunate. Lots of new buildings, which is good. Sugar warehouses. Upgrade the port. So you're going to attack us. Or, to be honest, I will just attack you because we've already got reinforcements coming up. Let's upgrade the coffee warehouse, the port here. Upgrade the roads. Repair the men here. Pick up some militia. Actually, no. No, I don't need to pick up militia, do I? There you go, this galleon. Pick up these two men. I don't have to worry about doing this completely efficiently because they're not moving this turn anyway. So I can just dump them off of the coast. Actually, you might go over here anyway. There we go. That'd be perfect. Fleet arrives. Sweet. So then you, and you're fully replenished from already. Well, let's go hit Quebec. Well, actually, let's get to about here first. Then let's creep forward. Yeah, big army. Or well, big fleet, but not big army. Deposit your men. And you, little boat, get out of dodge. You, push along. Well, hit the port, evict them, and then march on to Quebec. There you go, more ships in the med. That's good. Let's give them an Admiral's flagship first trait to lead them, because I can't actually build any other ships of the line better than that. Um, okay. Let's upgrade the commercial port here. Let's upgrade. Not the iron workshops, ideally. Not bothered about this, because it increases recruitment types, but we're not bothered about recruitment here to be honest it might just be a good idea to get the military academy or the great arsenal actually to get howitzers down here that would be good then let's take our garrison under alessio carducci and then sally to attack the new spaniards but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for hopefully the death of a bunch of new Spaniards. Cheers everyone.